Yeah. But you're from Florida. Yeah, from, from Tampa, Florida. From Tampa. Ooh, bucks, bucks, bucks. Yeah. Uh, Tampa Bay. The bucks, bro. Yeah, I was like shocked because casually <clears throat> your dad is just showing off on his Facebook that he went to the Super Bowl. Oh, he got, so he got so, sick. He's so like, lucky. He was uh, like, I'm not buying a ticket. That's so expensive. And then two days before, he's like, oh, so my friend gave me a free one. I was like, wow. How do you, how? That's awesome. Because, dude. Anyway, so he's there. He's got a picture. He's like, that's yeah, so the picture sick. looked great. Yeah, so uh, it's and, kind of exciting for people from Tampa, you know, because it's like yeah. in Tampa. Mm-hmm. They won, we're dude. Expecting, yeah, we're expecting to get Tom Brady, so, you know. When was the last time you guys won a Super Bowl? 2003. Whoa. Ooh, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been that long. You're wow. back. I was. Uh, I watched that last one in my bunk bed with Kate on top. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Watching the game commercials. Balls. Bring it back home. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty exciting. And then uh, we got to play a show in Tampa. Like, that's how, that's how I got the vid. Ooh. Oh, the, yeah. the vid, yeah. And got the club X, Y, and Z will not be named. But <laughs> oh, man. Fun it. club. Yeah. Good but show, though. The show was fun, though, huh? It was fun. Time. Florida, <laughs> yeah, Florida's fun. I think the shows in Florida just go a little bit harder than everywhere else for, for different reasons. Do you, have, do you, have, you know, you're from Florida. Do you have, like, pride for Florida? That, that, that they're like the, I the think state. for a, a good they're the 50% state of the like, state, yes, I do. I think I think so. There's you'll find that's creatures. A good, of all that's time. a good ratio. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I no, mean, I'm saying not just like in general, but like right now with like Florida being like the, one of the states that's like, oh, we're gonna just pioneer party on, the, you know what I'm the saying? pandemic. It's a it's a weird thing to understand because when I lived there, I lived there pre pandemic, you know? And then when you go back, everyone just acts like this is what we do here. And you're just right. like, you don't understand it because you haven't yeah. been there. But yeah, like, you guys true. got alligators out there, okay? Yeah, they're not scared of shit. Exactly. They're but, good. But also, also, like, pandemic aside, there's like a thousand people a day moving there apparently now. And yeah. like, a lot of Whoa. people. Well, they a got lot, those good taxes. Yeah, yeah, taxes. But also, like, there's a lot of people from Canada moving there. Like, Can- Carnage moved there, I think, from Vegas. Or something. Canada. Like, uh, yeah, just yeah. a bunch of, like, uh, entertainers and, like, like Logan, Jake Paul, like, moving there, or, or Jake Paul. Yep. Um, so it's like it Lele, seemed Lele Pond just moved there too I saw oh yeah yep. Whoa, so I'm curious I'm curious like post pandemic like what's gonna be the scene like Miami's always been like the EDM kind of yeah. area but no there wasn't a lot of like people doing work there it was like people just partying and performing there yeah well, do, you th- do you guys think Miami's like the new spot yeah do you think, think it'll be like Miami's the new-, new New York what do you say yeah I think Miami is a new New York City yeah really 100% what's gonna yeah. happen to LA I think LA is until Newsom grew some Newsoms out of here. I don't know. I, oh, really? I think we're stuck right now. <laughs> it is pretty crisp around here. But yeah, yeah. I think because Wall Street's trying to move down to Miami. You see that? Yeah, I did hear about that. That's a big move. Yeah, that's a big the financial. Danny Quest is trying to move to Miami too. Are you kidding me? He's yeah, not, not, not right Miami. now, but you know, oh, okay. not, not, not. Just, like, lift up the shirt. Lift, goals, lift One up. Day. Okay, I'm getting wow. the condo. Yeah, he's yeah. got the Miami tat. Miami. You've, uh, you've always said that you, you always want to end up in Miami. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's the yeah. goal, right? Sometimes you got to put a goal right on your stomach so you look yeah. at it every day. Yeah, you got to say it out loud. You got to make it happen, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. King, but, uh, King of Miami. Yeah, King of Miami. Yeah, Florida's, Florida's a good place. It gets a hard rap, but the people are awesome. And yeah. it's blown up after this pandemic. You, you can't judge a state yeah, for sure. by their worst Florida you can't. man. Exa- yeah, the Florida no, man. Exactly. <laughs> no. That is so true. Yeah, you you know? don't want to base it off of that, no. Not, yeah, not There's crazy <laughs> people in California, too. They, so. It yeah. doesn't get reported on the news as much. Yeah, they get away with it. In yeah, Cali. they get away with it out here. It's like too many of them, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. leave them alone. Yeah. yeah it's Florida, so they're like, how dare they? I love Florida, We're going to get them. How dare they rob a store with an alligator? I, like, I was like I said, I was like, the thing where you look up your birthday and you see what... Florida story you are like mine's like throws alligator through drive through window no way no yeah. way oh yeah that, that, that happened like That's a baby amazing. alley Dude, wow you you were kind of telling me how you started um because you actually did you go to school in Orlando or you were living in Orlando and you were like working and DJing yeah I actually went to Florida State for right. college and um started DJing there and Florida State is like uh compared to like ASU, you know, it's kind of like yeah. wild, crazy. Yeah, it's one of like the super biggest fun party schools. Huge party school, and um, they were kind of really forward on on the dance scene, like right as it was getting big in that like 2013 ish era. So I started DJing all the clubs there, and I, and then after I got done with school, moved to Orlando, started a job, and then I DJed like four nights a week while I was doing my job Damn, during the day. Bro. So I was going like seven to seven, go to the club. Stay up till three, wake up, do it again, like Savage. all week. But it was like I just got to the end of that, and I was like, "Damn, I'm making more money DJing, and I'm working half as much, and I love it." You're what working. Am I doing? You're working you know? your nine to five, and then you're making more money on the weekends DJing. You're like, "What the hell?" Yeah, it was What's like the point? puzzling to me, you know. So yeah. like, because a lot of people when you got out of school, like 
all the jobs, they work you really hard. And your hours are crazy. You're not getting paid a lot. And I was like, why am I doing this thing? And I'm not making a lot of money in. You don't even love it. Yeah, I'm not happy. But then I go to the club exhausted. And I got a big smile on my face, you know? So, Bam. And there's, yeah. pr- there's probably a different level of appreciation, especially in Florida, Orlando, Miami, wherever in Florida of... Oh, you're a DJ? Tight. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. people in LA or like people in the Midwest, like, they kind of look at you funny, like, oh, you're like a wedding DJ or so. Like, the, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, the, it's yeah. not necessarily a thing. But if you're in Florida, they're like, oh, sick. Like, you're cool. Like, yeah, you're, you're at the clubs. You're a DJ. Yeah. Like, yeah. sick. But you didn't just start DJing. Like, you grew up playing music and playing in bands and playing drums and all that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I got into DJing in college, but I was, uh, I was a drummer since I was like 11 or 12 years old. Sick. And it was in like a bunch of different bands. So, like, I Damn, I never knew that. And, yeah, bro. And He's whoa, a crazy drummer, bro. Jazz, what? Jazz yeah. bands. No way. Hardcore bands. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Savage. Like, so that was like my That's I love drums. What? Yeah, so I did that for a long time and like like bounce around a bunch of different bands and that's how I made money in school like, Sick, like in a band and stuff so that's so fucking tight that's funny it's so random but wow I can see it though but it translates Savage. really well to production and DJing because mm-hmm. like I like already have that like rhythmic drive anyway I kind of love like that goes kind of driving drive, driving music whether it be dance or rock or whatever yep. so like for DJing it was really easy for me to pick up because I was like oh I already get this like right so it made you, sense you already me. had the, the boots and cats like down dude I was yeah. like yeah. I was like, yeah, dude. You had that. it down. <laughs> that's not sick, dude. What, how, so, yeah. I'm not that familiar with like the Florida scene like early on, but how how much in your mind was it like, oh, I want to play ultra or like I want to be in that? Yeah, because I know you went. You definitely went to those festivals like when you were younger. Like we didn't really go to any of these shows until we already started cheat codes. So right. we kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. dove in it late. I think um, you know how. Coachella is like a big thing for like kids who live here. Yeah. Like they grow up going to Coachella or whatever. Yeah. In our area, it's like you go, grow up going to Ultra. So wow. like Ultra was like the pinnacle of like when I started really liking dance. I'm like, oh, this is what got me excited about dance music. So like when we would go every year, it'd be like, that's my Christmas. Like Mar- into March, like right. that was like my happy time, you know? So then like when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's my, like, that's my biggest goal is to play main stage Ultra, you know? Cause it's just like, that's what I understood. Right. right. Got, you know. Right. Same way, like, an artist like Billy or, or someone would be like, "I want to headline Coachella in my space." It's like ultra. Right. Totally. Which made more sense. Was it was it nerve wracking doing main stage with us? Like yeah. that one oh, year yeah. where you're like, "Oh wow, here yeah. we go, here I, we if go." You, <laughs> if you look at the if you look at the like CDJs when you're walking up to them. Like, it's like, oh, this is manageable. But as soon as you, like, peek over the CDJs and you really see how many people are standing in downtown, you're like, oh, man. Crazy. There's a lot of people here. Just to give people some context, <laughs> we played Ultra and we brought Danny out and yeah. uh, we did our songs together. So, yeah, that was, that was a crazy experience. That was Chicago, yeah? No, 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 no. That was Oh, not Chicago. I mean, Ultra that was Miami. Like, Miami. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, was thinking, I was thinking of Lala real quick. That was Yeah, but Ultra too. Miami. Yeah, no, that, that was awesome. That was, uh, that was right when Not Safe for Work came out. So that was like yeah. the exact same week or whatever. So like a lot Crazy. was happening during that time. And that was epic. But we also did Lollapalooza and you guys let us come out for that one too, which is a fucking I mixed blast. Mixed them up. Yeah, that yeah. was crazy. I, was I can on picture that one really it. well. I mean, pizza. I was that on pizza. Good. I was on pizza. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. I can still see like the city skyline. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. That was a big one. That was wild. Yeah. So yeah, I, obviously we all miss festivals here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're I'm sitting like, here just I'm like daydreaming, yeah, reminiscing. Oh, so nice. I can picture the skyline right now. I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> I can <take> it. <laughs>